What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to do an update on the previous video I made on how to save your dairy chart, okay? Using the dairy trading view, alright? Right, so over the years, dairy have been consistently making improvements on how they can give their users the best experience in terms of chart analysis and all. So recently, they've done an update on their trading view and I think it is quite okay that I share this update with you guys so that others can learn from it. When I went through the comments on that previous video, people were asking some questions which were not available then. But there is an update that has brought everything to your table. So make sure you stay to the end of this video and subscribe to this channel if this is your first time, alright? If you are not trading derivative or synthetic indices at the moment, I think you want to do yourself the people of registering your account using the link in the description of this video. As we are entering into this festive period like December is quite approaching and you will not be able to trade the forex market profitably. Why? Because every firms will be going on holidays and there will be no volatility in the market. But the real synthetic indices is quite stable and there is no holiday, alright? That means that even Christmas, whatever holiday that others market might be experiencing, you have the liberty to continue trading your strategy so long as you know what you're doing. So register your account using the link in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's dive into what we have today. Stay tuned guys and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time of viewing my content. Stay blessed. So what you just need to do is to come to your search engine and type Derive Trading View, Trading View for Derive.com and then you search for it. Obviously, it's going to show you other, um, yes, this is the one you click. When you get to this point, you click on this. And once you click on it, it's going to open this chart here for you. And this is how it looks like. This is the new derivative trading view. Yes, you might think there's no much difference between this one and the previous one. Initially, what, you, what I explained before now is how you can actually save your chart from here. After you must have done your analysis, you come to this particular point, you, you know, save it by just what typing your name or any name of your choice when you click on this if that will be your first time of doing it and you click on this particular save they will ask you to they will ask you to you can see they ask you to input your name any name of your choice you can actually use it to save it but this video is just a bit of an upgrade that has happened over the over time and how you can actually maximize the use of the direct trading view so this is more like an advanced way that you can capitalize on the opportunities that are there so when you look at this particular point, what you're seeing here are my favorite tools which i normally use frequently for my analysis this is what i use for trend line this is what i use to like mark out my you know trading range something like this and then something like this so if i want to focus between one particular point and another i use those things i use this particular tool here that's what I do. You can see that between this point and this point here, I've been able to mark it. If I want to draw my trend line, I use it. This is what I use to draw my other block or support or resistance or supply zone. So this is my long and this is my short. This is just a, an arrow just to show the indication of price projection. Okay, so that's that about all of that. Uh, if you have not watched those previous videos, please kindly make sure you do justice to that. Okay, this was the first video I did which people are asking some questions that were not available in in this video i mean as at that time where and then this is the other one on how you can actually save your chart so you can go through this video to have full understanding of what you need to do when you get back to this point or well, the new update you want to focus on is this now we look at this particular point there is a layout now this layout is not present in the previous video that i do and now how can you actually capitalize on this how can you make use of it when you click on this particular point here you are going to see different levels we have from one to you know eight these are different levels what this thing helps you to do is it will help you to divide your screen into two for instance this first one here if i click on it it's going to divide the screen into two so that means that you have one screen here you have another screen and you can actually do your analysis differently take for instance if you want to be looking at what is happening on the 24 hour time frame and what is happening on other time frame you can actually check let's say here i want i want to focus on what is happening on the four hour you will see that this is four hour time frame and this is what this is um 20 this is 24 hour time frame now if i want to focus on the four hour and the 15 minutes i can leave this one to be my four hour and then when i come to this point all i just need to do is to switch to 15 minutes time frame so you can see this is 15 minutes this is a time frame and this is what 
24 hour time frame this is 24 i'm sorry this is the four hour time frame so what this will help you do is there is no point of you trying to do analysis here switch to the other and all you can simply stay here do your markings on the 15 minutes or you know you can decide to stay in this particular plot um, time frame which is what the four hour do your your analysis here come to this 15 minutes to look out for what your entry your entry region in the market so this is pretty how you can actually use the chart layout and like i said there are other layouts that you can see this is another one which will help you to see this screen like this the same thing you can use any time frame of your choice once you go to the one hour here you all you just need to do is to you can decide to type it here as what one hour and you click on enter okay this is one minute rather i don't know if i click if i type one h it will understand yeah they probably do but the thing the best thing you can do is you can always select it from here you can only select it from here if you don't want to know how to add this thing like i said you can watch the previous video to have full um proper way to set it up so this is where you can add all the time frame that you need all the one that i clicked has been added to my favorite that's why you're seeing them on my watch list here that's why you're seeing them here and all these tools also you you can also add them and you will see them here another thing you will notice is when you look at this particular point here these are these are various tools that you can use these are various tools that you can use and this is currently the the chart the the chart that you are we are currently working on this is like the t25 index and this is why you are seeing r25 r25 four hour if i come to this particular point you will see r25 one hour so i can decide to like you know come to this point and make use of some of the tools that i have used before like this horizontal rate that is what is displaying here take for instance if i have if i have used something like this you can see this you can see that it's, it's already displaying here now if i use this here You can see that it's already displaying here so what you can what this will help you do is there is no point of view you know like trying to look for where is um you know part where is your arrow heads to draw whatever you want to draw i just need to do is come to this point and you basically see all the tools that you have used before now all of them will be displayed here okay so that's that's about that you can start to play it up probably any day you want to start your own you can start to play it up or you can decide to actually leave it so that is that about how you can actually use this um object tree here okay so when you come to this point here this is a quick search this quick search is maybe you want to do trend line you don't know where it is on your platform you are looking for it. where can i get trend line where can i what you just need to do is come to this point and type trend line okay you say really start typing it they will bring it out for you will bring it out for you you can see this is trend line trend angle so if you want to use if you want to use fibonacci all you just need to do is to type fib they will bring fib retracement for you want to draw um if you are looking for maybe rectangle to draw your support and resistance you can just type rectangle here and it will be displayed if you don't know where to find them so any tool at all that you are confused of oh where can i locate this where is this to find all you just need to do is to come to this particular point here so this is what this um quick search is used for this is to take a snapshot a screenshot of whatever drawings that you have done and then you can also do your chart settings if you want to change the color of your you want to change the color of your candles this is where you do those things here if you like you can use this this will just turn the whole um thing to like dark mode if you prefer dark mode good and fine but for me i just like seeing everything being you know plain and clear for me to um I mean to my visible eyes so this is basically the update they have done so far like you said they really they are constantly trying their best to ensure that they give their users the best analysis too in order to better their trading so don't forget to always ensure that you save your chart once you have done marking out once you're done marking out all you just need to do is to click on this for instance if i type any names here let's say let's say on kid okay if i type any name here and i save any drawings that i do any drawings that i do right now i can literally save it I can literally save it okay i can literally save it you see 
any drawings that I am marking on my chart, I can always save it. Okay, they are all there. They are all there. So the next thing is, if I go to probably a new time frame, if I go to a new time frame, there will just be all. I just need to let me let me go to maybe one hour and see if there is going to be a change. Okay, you can see everything. Everything will still be there. This is the rectangle I drew. This is the rectangle I drew. So even if we, if I close this this chart and I decide to open it again, you are still going to see it. So let me let me try and see if I open this chart. If you if you are going to see what I have saved. Okay, I've already saved this thing here, so I don't need to type trading view for derivatives.com again. All I just need to do is to click on it and it will open. So you can see it has opened this is a new page. Now we want to load this chart. We want to load this chart. That is the importance of you saving your chart. So all you just need to do is to click on load layout and click on on us kit because this is the name I use in saving it. Okay. You can see that all the things that I have marked previously, everything is there. Everything is still available. Everything is still available. This this is the um, rectangle. The the problem is why some of them will not be showing. If you notice the rectangle I drew did not show. The reason is when I drew this rectangle before loading it to a new, I mean before closing the page, one what I just need to do is to ensure that I click on this. If you look at this, they are telling you to what save. So when you click on this, every other things that you are doing there will be saved. The moment you see save, where on this particular point, just make sure that you have to clean it and um, click it. When you click on it, it will be saved. So don't forget to um, register your screen account using the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to join our Telegram channel. Let's see how the channel looks like. And we drop, you know, updates, signals, and many other things. Okay? So please make sure you join the Telegram channel and also participate in this free signal. Okay? These are some setup that I have marked out and which I will also be disposing to the group or those that are willing to trade to actually capitalize on them. So these are various analyses that I have done before now. Here, this particular price is quite at our POI and we are currently waiting for confirmation. So that is that about this video. Okay, so if this is your first time of viewing my content, please kindly make sure you subscribe to this channel, give us a like, and then if you have anything you want us to talk about related to trading, Make sure you drop it in the comment box. I'm always there to respond to all your questions. Peace out, guys. God bless.